This is a supplemental video to Hip Arthroscopy for Challenging Deformities, Global Pincer Femoral Acetabular Impingement. This young woman has severe global pincer impingement of both hips, more symptomatic on the right, which will be the focus of this demonstration. She has a center edge angle of 62 degrees and a downsloping sourceal. Significant rim reduction of the anterior, superior, and posterior rims will be performed. With fluoroscopic templating, we first set the desired center edge angle of 35 degrees at the yellow dot. We then demarcate the anterior desired rim with the blue line and the posterior desired rim with the red line passing through the green dot or center of the femoral head. As anticipated, this hip is difficult to distract even with capsular venting and insertion of an air arthrogram. We level out the pelvis on the fluoroscopic monitor. Note the asymmetric distraction of the hip. We now apply the template to the fluoroscopic operative monitor, outlining the area of desired resection of the acetabular rim. With routine anterolateral portal access being blocked, we then try access through the distal portal first approach. We then try a capsulotomy first approach, which also fails to gain central compartment access. We proceed to an acetabuloplasty first approach, clearing the soft tissues along the rim. Capsule is scarred to the thin remaining labrum. A global acetabuloplasty is performed using fluoroscopic templating to guide our amount of bony resection. Arthroscopic posterior rim trimming is guided by fluoroscopic templating. Access has now been achieved through an acetabuloplasty first approach into the central compartment. Circumferential capsulolabral reconstruction is then performed. You can see the femoral head at the right side of the screen, which was fully covered at the beginning of the surgery. Osteoplasty of the femur is then performed with eradication of ongoing impingement by arthroscopic testing. And this is also confirmed immediately postoperatively. The anterolateral and the modified mid-anterior portals are shown. Here is the postoperative radiographs showing a CE angle reduction to 36 degrees and recontouring of the anterior and posterior rims with a neutral posterior wall sign. Thank you for your interest in this technique.